Hello, are you struggling with a huge amount of depth? I know the feeling because I was in that same boat. And for me, I'll be focusing on student loan debt because that was the amount of debt I had to deal with. Some of the ideas and principles I'll share can be applied to other kinds of debt. But first, I'd like to welcome you to Christianity Explained, where my goal is to share biblical principles and ideas to help you with your Christian walk and introduce you to the idea that God does care about you. In fact, that's going to be the starting point for this video. <laughs> it would help if I gave a little bit of background. I had graduated from one college and I had, for me, a large debt. I had a few thousand dollars uh, of loans that I had to pay. I wasn't able to because I didn't have a job where I could pay anything back. And, and part of the problem is I have physical disability. I'm visually impaired, technically legally blind, and hard of hearing. And it's not easy uh, to get a job when you have certain challenges like that. Plus, I made the mistake of going to another college and trying to get some training at, where in, certain, in web design. I really should not have done that, and I regretted that. And that added an even bigger depth on top. To put the cherry on top, I had a, a, student, a, a phone bill that I never paid back because I didn't like Verizon at the time. And I also had a, a Discover card that I was dragging my butt on. So yes, that was my mountain. So how did I get out of that uh, mountain? Well, I should say off that mountain of depth. It began in 2007 with a decision. The decision is, is quite simple. That mountain of debt is a coming down, boy. It's a coming down. But I base, in other words, I simply decided to take proactive steps in dealing with that thing. Now, as much as I'm in favor of student loan forgiveness, I get it. it we all need help, and it's not wrong to want it. But. It's almost like waiting for the tooth fairy. So let's start with step one. I began with the small step. The small one I had was the, was the discover card. That was an easy one to deal with. Paid that off. Then next step was simply this. I happened to to have saw a video that was put up by Kim Clement, who was a well-known uh, prophetic voice in the kingdom of God. <laughs> now, I am aware of what some people are saying, but your opinion is not what's important. Here's what's important. He gave a prophetic word about uh, God helping his children with getting out of debt. Could it it was crushing. I chose to pray. I used what he was saying in terms of prophetic declaration. In other words, I'm making a determination in my heart. And I was asking the Father to help me with saying, Father, I heard the tale before. And I have heard the tale before from others talking about deliverance from death. Okay, and I needed it to, to be a reality. <laughs> Kim Clement had no clue as to what was going on with me. And I'm sure he would have been happy to give me the word of encouragement to not be intimidated by past failure. <laughs> and yes, and I want to encourage you too. Don't be intimidated by past failure to pay down. Make a determination that that thing is the coming that down, boy, coming down. Make, when you make that kind of declaration, that determination, asking the Lord to help you with doing that, you will be surprised. 
Mmm, I can almost hear someone say, Yeah, I wonder if the face check came in. Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. <laughs> the next thing I did was once I made that decision and I made that prayer, the Lord put it in my heart to start paying what I could. I could. So I contacted one of the uh, student debt collectors and made, started making arrangements. Yes, the interest rate was causing problem, and it is a problem. But they helped me out by telling me what to do, and so on. And I started making small what I could pay down consistently, and that was just one debt. I actually had a debt that was spread out with multiple uh, group, so I but I could only handle one at a time. By the way, in case you don't know, I am on SSDI. <laughs> yeah, so that I'm on that end of the uh, spectrum, income spectrum. <laughs> and I had a very poor, and I, and people like me have a very poor chance of getting a job. All right, <laughs> no, no magic wand, <laughs> none came. Oh, when the face check, eh, it came, wait for it, before I can get the face check, I needed to do some rethinking in the way I was handling my money. This is where materials from Crown Financial Ministry and Dave Rancy uh, comes in. They didn't offer to pay my debt, but rather they gave me some training that I needed to learn how to deal with debt. Even more importantly, I had to rethink how I handled my money. And that's actually important because it's not enough to just get out of debt. What if you have face check or some inherit, un, unexpected inheritance, whatever. If you don't know how to manage your money, that check isn't gonna do you any good <laughs> in the long run. In the short term, yes. It was, it was helpful, but I'm thankful for what those guys did through their thing. <laughs> Though I think Financial Peace University could do without the kitchen sink approach. Really? <laughs> now, I hinted at something about starting small for a very specific reason. As it turns out, Dave Ramsey is a big fan of building big momentum by doing dealing with the small debt. And that's exactly what I did, though I didn't know about Dave Ramsey's uh, advice. After the Discover card and the starting of paying down the stu one student loan, I paid off my phone bill. And, and I had to thank a friend who generously gave me some money to help start uh, me on the path of financial freedom. That was the Faith check. <laughs> Good God was providing. But that wasn't the end of it. He also provided with the teachings I needed from Crown Financial that really came in handy. And yes, some of the advice that came from Dave Ramsey, they also came in handy. <laughs> that was a letter brick. I guess you could call that part of the faith check stuff. Because by faith, God was providing and helping me and giving me wisdom. <laughs> and that gets even uh, better. As I move forward with, with each and every step, though it seems small, guess what? In due course, that step, that mountain, started getting smaller and smaller. Yeah. By 2011, I saw the one loan from Stockton disappearing, and it went uh, the way of the dinosaur. That was one. All the other, then it was just the one uh, art college that I with that didn't that went in. Oh, and by the way, you're probably thinking, what about the debt collector? Oh my God, no! Guess who were some of my best 
help in dealing with that. Yeah! It was so dynamic collector! Oh my god! Now, sometimes they can actually be a big help, not all bad. Alright, and in fact, in one depth, I was paying back down, but I wanted to make a slight change, and they said, uh, wait, wait, it's good you're doing that, but let's, I got some wise count, they were a big help. So, don't be so sure, but ask the Lord to give you favor and help and wise counsel. That's one. Mm -hmm. And here's another part that helped with it. Believe it or not, I was paying, if I say I'm paying on Thai, which I know is the more churchy way of saying it, you might be thinking, uh, no, I'm giving what I could. I gave, as I could. As I started by giving, I think I was giving really like 5%, not the full 10%. No, you see, God wanted me to give, and I was happy to give where I could and what he put in my heart. He's the one who actually suggested that start small and work your way up to where you will be able to. He gave me the assurance that yeah, oh, you will, but don't rush. <laughs> wow, that's God's grace and mercy. I also got to see God's grace and mercy and help in a lot of the other area of, that helped me with dealing with, the, with my financial burden. And I'm going to wrap this up with this other cherry on top. <laughs> the Lord helped me with another area in my finances, and that was the idea of starting a small savings account. At the time, yeah, it started out small. It didn't seem like a lot, but as Book of Proverbs teaches you, uh, uh, he who gathers little by little amass uh, a good deal of fun. And that's exactly what I did. Thanks to the, the help that I got through uh, Crown Financial Ministry and uh, Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace, and my church was very much involved in that, guess what? That helped me with learning how to get a good budget, take uh, giving in a responsible fashion, not, not ridiculous, helped me to recognize where the blessings were, because that was another problem. And yes, God was helping me to overcome other issues. So I'm very glad. Now, you may, this isn't a real tangent. In fact, this is actually very related. You may have heard something like from Dave Ramsey. He would rather people not get money, magically pay off a debt, or get the uh, inheritance. And go, Ooh. It's not that he's insensitive. He is aware. It's just that when, if you don't go through the process of learning how to pay down your debt and and take better care of your finances, you won't gain the the um, financial meth muscle that you need to enjoy uh, the blessing of being debt free. And yet, I would argue with him a little bit that, yeah. That sounds good, Dave, but we, it doesn't hurt that we get some help with uh, death forgiveness. And I wasn't having an easy time of that one. <laughs> but I thank God, and I give him the glory and give him the praise for how he helped me. <laughs> Gee, no magic wand, just some determination, prayer, uh, biblical counsel and guidance and some people who did help in different ways. So I thank God, and I give him the glory and praise, and I thank him for giving me the wisdom and the smart and the resolve to do it. And all this started with a uh, declaration that said, That mountain is not coming down, boy! Coming down! <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video, <laughs> and it will be a blessing and a help. 
See you when I see ya.